Greetings! This is the Forgotten Prime in a Train, something a little new. This will probably be my also up to take on this particular video. Um, I usually don't censor myself, so if I flub up, I restart over and redo it. And uh, there are times I've been lazy and just shoved it out there because of the fact that I vented. I, I'm at that point where I will just speak my mind and try to do it as slowly and as calmly as possible without being uh, left in the dust, basically. And I would love to hear a comment after the video. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> On this trailer ta uh, tackles Alita Battle Angel, a fun movie that the alt-right hijacked. We didn't have much of a choice. But yet, we didn't hijack it. We were given a good film without any form of politics being shoved into it and not being told that we were bad for being a male. And that's what's been happening a lot. Hello? You guys shielded the snot out of this and told us that we were bad for not liking it. Well, guess what? I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. This was good because it did justice to where it came from. It did not say, Hello, hi, creator. You don't longer exist anymore. We're going to change it to fit our agenda. This didn't. This didn't do none of that. This gave us a good film, good characters, a good story. I saw no plot holes. Literally. I watched the anime. I am a geek of every form just about. Jack of many trade, master of none. There are a few movies that came out this year that have an interesting story as Alita Battle Angel. A -a -a Hello! The original anime, I know a lot of you people are idiots who don't know where it originally came from. Also, it was a manga before it became an anime. And they both are bloody damn near close to each other. Any, the creator of these things, they're from Japan. They put their heart and soul behind it. This has no soul. This has a soul. <clears throat> Directed by Robert Rodriguez and starring Rosa Salazar. Despite mixed reviews, mixed, mixed, 78 to 55, 61 to 93, there's a big freaking difference. Big bloody difference. Hello! Nah, hello, Big Fly! Knock, 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 knock! Ugh. It got a lot of praise for being the first successful manga to live action Hollywood film. Uh, well, yeah. He. Followed the one true thing is get help from the creator, and he did. He basically said, Hi, I love your product. 
Can we work with? To, can we work together to make this a live action film? And they were yes. Why not? Let's see what you guys can give us. And they loved it as much as we do. But here's the kicker. You were so busy shilling the snot out of this that this got left behind in the box office. That's why I highly recommend anybody that loves this film to buy a bloody DVD or Blu-ray. Honest Trailer tackles the fun and action-adventure elements of the film. With an audience that tur also turned Alito into a cool girl companion when Captain Marvel rolled around. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> Captain Marvel basically shot itself in the foot and you continue to shoot yourself in the foot. It's disappointing narrative because Alita has grown on me Disappointing narrative? That's right there. You are so stuck on your political agendas. And there are so few little like big black uh, big blockbuster films, let alone a Mexican American director. Right there. Narrative. Get it out of your bloody mind! Nobody gives a shit about politics. I don't. I never did, ever, wanted the, this type of nonsense being shoved down my throat. That's why I left the internet, or cable. I don't like watching news because of the fact that it's people pissing about they're not getting their way. Because the fact that yeah, they're not getting their way. They're not making their money off of the slobs that live in this country. Well, guess what? Do your fucking jobs! Alita with the eyes of dolls and the so uh, softness of a body pillow and the heart of... I don't even know who the feck that is. The internet's perfect woman. Uh, she's not perfect. She is... Beyond imperfect, and she is perfect at the same time. Because of the fact that she's fallible. She is human. This person, you guys say that she has no fucking flaws. Well, guess what? She fails because of that. <sighs> Elita herself is just a your typical wide-eyed protagonist. Eh, no, she was not your typical protagonist. Watch the film. The person I blame for this narrative is the alt-right. Yeah, alt-right. All right, trolls. All right, all right. Blah, 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 blah. Posting fans, asking fans to skip Captain Marvel and silly see Alita Battle Angel dubbing Pound Alita Challenge. Well, I'll be honest. I'm a part of the Alita Army. And always will be because I was a fan of both the manga and the comic book. Basically, same deal. The anime, I, I'm flustered because of the fact that you guys are aggravating me. And I'm not going to retake this a fourth fucking time. Just for you. Just because of this fucking article. You are not that cool. You are a terrible writer to try to push more narrative down people's throats. They read these articles. People want honesty. Not fucking lies! I found it deeply irritating because it reduces all the good qualities of a Elida to this over-sumptuous, blah, 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 
Yeah, you're just trying to say she doesn't mean to be flawed and just be super powerful all the bloody time. Well, guess what? You can't have a good character without the flaws. I want to have a female-led movie out of every studio starting with different kinds of women without them meaning to be pitted against each other. I can promise you if Carol Danvers and Leah were both real, they'd be talking to each other and asking for going out with a beer and going karaoke. Wrong! She'd be throwing Captain Marvel in the fucking pri prison for fucking being a fucking crook! The Avengers should have thrown her ass in a fucking Guantanamo Bay with a fucking inhibitor collar wrapped around her neck to prevent her from using those stupid so-called cosmic powers. You think that alt-right people are hijacking everything? Because of the fact that it actually has a good freaking story and an actual good, strong woman? You're wrong. You are so wrong. Aliens. Alien. Alien 3. Oh, uh, let's see. I, I repeat myself over and over and over just about on it. A lot of things. And this is one of them. You can call me a misogynist, troll, whatever. I don't care. I'm being honest. And what I see is a super villain right here. This is not a heroine. Heroines actually sacrifice Every fucking thing for other people, regardless of gender, regardless of color, or regardless of who they fucking follow in the political so-called line. They don't care. Heroes are infallible to that stupidity. They are to lay their lives down for the betterment of others. Daredevil put himself in the line of fire time and time again. And damn near died too many bloody times. And I'm not talking about the bloody TV series. I'm talking about the comic book. The actual true story. And I, I'm not a big Daredevil fan either. I was more addicted to the X-Men timelines and Spider-Man. And anything it tied into that. That was it. But then when they started doing a rehash of uh, the Heroes Reborn, twice within a few years, I got bored and walked away. I decided to start looking at comic books and anime in recent years, and all you guys do is target fans. And... You call us bad names because of the fact that we see through the political bullshit. We don't want it in the hobby. All we are asking for is a simple good story with simple characters. Hi. Bring it. Continue to follow that line and you will go broke. But you don't care about making money. The only thing you care about is preaching your politics. Please. Enough. My hobbies are fun. And I would love to see them can be continued for not just my 
children and future children and my grandchildren and their children and forcing your political beliefs into entertainment it changes it from what it's supposed to be it changes it from the entertainment to political pandering but you're probably going to ignore me you're going to probably ignore all of those of us who want good stories, good characters, and no political bullshit. I thank you for watching this video. I would love it if you would leave a comment. Um, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Um, I just, I don't understand why you want to force political ideology over actual entertainment. Well, I bid those of you with common sense a good evening and a good day or night. And those without, you probably don't even know what the meaning is. I salute your ignorance.